Hello, and welcome to another AES Drilling Fluids Tech Tip. We'll address a basic drilling fluids concept in hopes that we can help you tackle far more complex problems in the future. In this tech tip, we'll discuss the methods used to measure drilling fluid density, often termed mud weight. As one of the most important fluid parameters, accurate density measurements are vital to drilling operations. The fluid density controls hydrostatic pressure in a well bore and holds back undesirable flow into the well. This density, or pressure, also prevents collapse of the formation. Conversely, too much pressure, or too high of a fluid density, can result in lost circulation by propagating and filling fractures in the formation rock. Generally, the instrument used to measure drilling fluid density is the mud balance. It provides sufficient accuracy to measure within 0.1 pounds per gallon. The mud balance consists of a beam with a simple cup located on one end and a fixed counterweight located at the other, with a sliding weight that's free to move along a graduated scale. A bubble level is mounted on the beam and indicates the density of the fluid when in balance. Before taking a measurement, the mud balance should be set on a level surface. Fill the clean sample cup with drilling fluid and place the cap on top, rotating until seated. Ensure that some of the drilling fluid is expelled through the hole in the cap to free any trapped air or gas. While firmly holding the filled sample cup, covering the hole in the cap with your finger, clean and dry the mud balance. Place the beam onto the support and slide the weight until the bubble holds steady under the center line. Drilling fluid density is typically read in pounds per gallon, although most mud balances also allow readings of specific gravity, pounds per cubic foot, and PSI per thousand feet. The pressurized mud balance is used when determining the density of a drilling fluid containing entrained air or gas. The drilling fluid sample is pressurized in order to minimize gas volume, providing a more accurate measurement. The components are similar to the regular mud balance, but also require the sample cup and cap to be threaded to provide a tight seal when applying pressure. A check valve on the cap connects to the pressure source, a plunger that works similarly to a syringe. Fill the cup up with drilling fluid, leaving a one quarter inch air gap. With the check valve in the down or open position, place the cap on top of the sample cup. While pressing down, you'll see excess fluid expel through that check valve, and with the cap on, raise the check valve to the closed position. Clean and dry the cup, then screw the threaded cap on hand tight. Draw fluid into the plunger and connect to the check valve. Push downward to open the check valve while injecting fluid to pressurize the sample. The check valve is pressure actuated, so when sufficient pressure is reached, easing up on the plunger allows that valve to close. Finally, release pressure on the plunger before disconnecting. The sample should now be ready to be weighed. Both instruments should be calibrated with fresh water every one or two weeks. Fresh water should give a reading of 1.00 grams per milliliter or 8.345 pounds per gallon at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. If it doesn't, adjust the balancing screw or the amount of lead shot in the well at the end of the graduated arm as necessary. Another instrument used to measure fluid density is the hydrometer. They are typically used when measuring base oil or brine densities as a function of temperature. Hydrometers operate based on the concept of buoyancy, so a fluid with gel strengths would yield inaccurate results. Hydrometer is a sealed hollow glass tube. It has a stem with measurement demarcations, a wider bottom section for buoyancy, and a weight for stability. The test fluid is poured into a graduated cylinder and the hydrometer is gently lowered inside until it freely floats in the liquid. A density reading is made where the surface of the fluid touches the glass stem, often called the meniscus. The temperature is also measured. The final density requires a correction using designated temperature correction factors. A pycnometer is a fixed volume vessel that is filled with fluid and then weighed. The mud weight is calculated by converting the mass per unit volume to the mud weight unit of measure. A pycnometer is frequently used in a laboratory where a calibrated precision balance is available to minimize error. Now, as automation becomes more common at the rig site, digital acquisition of mud weight provides high frequency data sets for faster adjustments to changing conditions. We'll discuss a few of these concepts. Coriolis meters continue to grow in popularity and are frequently encountered as part of a managed pressure drilling system. 
As fluid enters the Coriolis meter, it is split into two separate tubes. A drive coil stimulates the tubes, causing them to oscillate. As the tubes oscillate, coils mounted on the tube generate voltage in the form of a sine wave. Phase shifting of the sine waves has a direct correlation to the mass flow rate. The frequency of the sine waves allows for the calculation of density. Other sensors use vibration between two probes to determine the frequency. Higher density fluids have a lower frequency and lower density fluids have a higher frequency. Horizontal pipe rheometers are one way to measure fluid viscosity, but some also feature a vertical section to measure drilling fluid density at the same time. Pressure transducers capture the pressure differential between a fixed vertical height to calculate density from flow properties and hydrostatic pressure. Drilling fluid density is one of the most important parameters to be aware of during any drilling operation. Accurate density measurement translates to more accurate hydraulic analysis, helping to control formation pressures and maintain wellbore stability. That concludes this AES drilling fluids tech tip. Stay tuned for the next one, and if you want to learn more, have a listen to The Flow Line, our podcast. And if you want to improve your drilling fluid performance, please reach out to us at AES Drilling Fluids.